I was born in Melbourne, Australia from Italian immigrants. So I have some, a lot of Italian blood flowing through these veins. Australian upbringing and, uh, you know, I love Australia and the culture and the, the, the continent. It's a wonderful country. Just before I turned three, I got my first drum set. I come from a musical family. My father and mother were both musicians. They had band rehearsals in the house and I always wanted to participate and be present. Uh, so they could, they could tell that from an early age I had a very strong interest in music and then they decided to encourage me and bought me drums and then by the time I reached six years of age uh, I started taking piano lessons as well so I did both and then at 10 years of age I started singing lessons but you don't want to hear me sing trust me because I had a very stern Russian teacher in in Australia and, and I just I, I was into classical and I got into classical piano playing and practiced uh, for quite a number of years when I was young. And then after that, I, I, you know, the drums really became my main focus and I put that to the side and always uh, kept my hand in it a little, but uh, didn't really have enough time to explore it as much as I wanted to. But in the long run, it was a wonderful tool for me to be able to compose. And that's mainly what I use it for now. 19 years of age, I embarked on my first trip to the US which was a very big learning experience. I stayed for a year and a half. I took lessons, I went to classes, did drumming, arranging, composing, harmony and theory, the piano, and, and played, tried to play as much as I could with musicians in different bands. And eventually I had to return home. It wasn't until 15 years later that I moved to the US permanently. Finally, in around 1990 or, yeah, I, I believe 1990, I had, after many attempts, I had uh, some success uh, playing pop music in a, a well-known pop band. And we had uh, a very successful uh, first album. We recorded three, and then it was after that fell apart that I decided to move to the US. When I moved to the US, I had a little bit of a reputation amongst drummers. I already had released uh, one or two videos. Um, there was a small buzz and I had the support of the drum companies at the time um, who gave me a lot of um, support and I was able to go out and work and play, do some clinics. In the meantime, I started establishing contacts in the musical world. Uh, my first serious record here was with Derek Sherinian, his solo record. Out of that, we decided to form a band called Planet X and subsequently made about four records with that band. And in the meantime, I started um, slowly getting a little more momentum, you know, with different musicians, different players. I started, I toured with Tribal Tech, got a call from Steve Vai, did a couple of tours and a DVD with him. And so things were starting to progress and um, my career here was by that stage established and uh, just been moving in all kinds of directions since then. Well, I believe to me drumming gives me purpose. It, it, it gives me purpose, it gives me a, it motivates me every day. It, it gives me a reason to, to always push on and move forward. And I enjoy the challenge that it offers me. And it's relentless. It, it has never gotten to a point where I can sit back and feel comfortable and rest on my past achievements. Um, I still feel compelled to explore and move forward and, and, uh, and see where else I can take my expressive purpose on the instrument. I don't know if I'm consciously thinking of it in those terms. I just write and play music as I hear it. I just approach my music from how I feel internally. It's dependent on all the influences and all the experiences that I've had musically throughout my life. And I express myself through that. 
and and try not to be too concerned with with uh, you know opinions and and uh, and trends and what's going on and I'm kind of oblivious to that I I tend to just have faith in in what I'm doing and the steps I've taken to get to where I am now and I just feel like all I can do is is just keep forging ahead and you know carving my own niche musically well what I want to share with IYT and the followers is is simply the passion that I have for the instrument and the focus and the intensity and the effort that it takes to um, to achieve a good standard you know there's no denying that it's not easy but through a systematic and a diligent approach you can uh, achieve anything you want and hopefully my involvement and my uh, interaction with the people watching IYT will help them along the way give them some incentive and some motivation goodbye to all the IYT followers G'day!